and we are go in Barcelona for the sprint race in FIA Formula 3. A bit of a delayed start there for Luke Browning. That could leave him vulnerable. You can already see in the white and black ART, Gregoire Saucy trying to attack. It's Zach O'Sullivan in the number three who leads us into turn one. But here comes Luke Browning trying to get round the outside. The two Williams Academy drivers going side by side there through turns two. We've got a Campos car who has gone wide at turn one rejoining safely. That was Hugh Barter, but it looks like other than that, it's been a clean start. Oh no, we've got a car off. I think that's one of the road in Carling cars has gone straight into the barriers at turn number nine. Matty Boyer under pressure from Dino Beganovic, who's trying to go all the way around the outside in that red and white frame. But now he gets up the inside of another car. He's now under pressure himself there from the number 10 of Franco Colapinto. Good driving from Colapinto, and he picks up a place just before the safety car comes out. Yeah, so this is coming up to the entry of turn nine here. The fast right-hander, which oh. provided some challenges in qualifying, and I'm not sure if that's just a, an error of there's been some contact there. Just to the right of screen, we saw immediately coming into frame as coming went off. Rafael Villa Gomez with a damaged front wing. Here's uh, Gabrielli Mini. He gained four places, so a good start for him, Billy. Here he didn't get a good launch, but uh, clearly a good start a little bit further down. Yeah, currently he's boxed into the inside on the approach to turn one. So I'm interested to see where he gained his places here. Looks like oh. he'll probably be late on the brakes. It's a bold move, you know, capitalising on some early braking going from the drivers around and then right round the outside again of turn two. That seems to be a way to make up some places in the midfield in particular. Yeah, good driving there from Gabrielli Mini. Through four and into five we go. It looks like uh, he could be the next driver to make a move. Is he going to sell the dummy and try and go down the inside? No, he's going to try and go round the outside. On board with Gabrielli Mini there, fighting with the car. And it looks like he's made that place round the outside of Taylor Barnard. Fantastic driving. We go on board with him now and make the run down towards turn five and he's going to send it down the inside of Christian Mansell. That was very, very brave from Gabrielli Mini. Christian Mansell, good driving from him to leave the space and avoid any incidents. And now Gabrielli Mini sends it into turn seven. Great driving from Mini. I'm sure there may be people wondering why we're concentrating on a driver that started 18th on the grid, but it's because he's second in the championship. And this is about damage limitation now to his championship rival, Gabriel Bortoletto, who's P7, and other championship rivals like Gregoire Saucy, who could possibly get past him should he get a good score. Let's go to our leaders, though. Luke Browning closing in on Zach O'Sullivan, dives to the outside in towards turn number one. Zach O'Sullivan wise to it and holds on to the lead, but it's heating up out front. In the background, Gabrielli Mini, by the way, is just three tenths back from Pepe Marti, but three tenths back from the race leader is Luke Browning, and we're following him now as he lines up a move in towards turn number one, dives down the inside, and Zach O'Sullivan just holding on. And in the background, Gregoire Saucy doing the same thing with Leo Fornaroli. Two battles going on in the podium positions. Luke Browning doing a fantastic job here, but equally, Zach O'Sullivan doing a great job to hold him off. Pepe Marti is now defending rather than going on the attack. Here we go through nine. Pepe Marti has run wide there. And Gabrielli Mini says thank you very much. Helps himself to 11th right. One down, one more to go to get inside the points. Ah! OK, OK. You can hear the frustration in his voice there over the team radio. And I think that he kind of senses that those sorts of mistakes is not what he needs to score big points today or to try and get himself into points contention. In P5, Sebastian Montoya in the Red Bull car. He's going to go round the outside. Oh, contact made with Aaron there. And he goes off. He doesn't go round the bollard either. He actually rejoins the head of Paul Aaron. And that is a uh, potential disaster for Sebastian Montoya. We jump on board with Aaron. Here comes, uh, that's going to be Gabriel Bortoletto in the Trident car trying to get down the inside. But... Uh, Big action going on here inside the top five positions and that a change for fourth place. But will it stick, Billy? 
Yeah, I'm not too sure about that one Ooh, there. That Bortoletto. was contact. Yeah, we've nearly got some more contact here. Yeah, Bortoletto goes round the outside. Atan Thor and slowing down is Sebastian Montoya. Is that to let Aaron through or does he have damage? I think he's got damage here. He's slowing up and we can see cars filtering by the second race in a row. We've seen Montoya picking up damage. Let's hear from Sebastian Montoya. I got a buncher, I got a buncher. That's really not ideal for Sebastian oh. Montoya. We've got a big lock up there from Dino Boganovic. So that's potentially another puncture, I think, for Dino Boganovic, who's gone it straight like on that. at turn 10. The rear right tyre looked to me as if it had lost a lot of pressure, and he's gone straight on at turn 10. It's all going off here at Barcelona. Gabrielli Mini in the Alpine car is going to dive down the inside of Christian Mansell, who, oh, no contact. Mansell has spun. Mansell into the gravel there. Gabrielli Mini will continue. Pepe Marti will get into the top ten, and he is beached in the gravel. Talk us through this, Billy. Yeah, so Mansell with a DRS going round the outside of Gabrielli Mini. Gabrielli Mini, uh, I feel like for Gabrielli Mini there, he didn't leave Christian Mansell the room. He's kind of understeered into the rear tyre of Christian Mansell and sent him spinning. So for me, that potentially the fault lays with Gabrielli Mini on that one. You've got to leave a little bit of space around the outside. He won the sprint race in Australia, but he did not cross the line first on that occasion. Round the final corner he comes, and to take the chequered flag first and take his second win of the season will be Zach O'Sullivan. Fantastic performance from the Prima driver. Oh, yes. Bravo, Zach. Bravo, 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 bravo. Yeah, hi. Yeah. How's he going to win? Zach O'Sullivan, the Prima driver, winning for the second time this season. Luke Browning on his debut at this circuit, finishes in at P2, and Leonardo Fornaroli in third. Yeah, I was... Yeah, I could see the gap on the timing tower, and I was like, oh. Yeah, it's the same thing though, right? And now we get the celebrations underway. It may be the sprint race on Saturday, but they are not holding back.